Good day, plant foldies. This is Richie of Grow Folds, and today we'll be doing a big box store plant shopping video at Lowe's in Plano, Texas. This Lowe's actually is right off of I-75 in Plano, and it's right next to the Walmart that I visited with the live restock. So we'll see what kind of plants they have at this Lowe's. I haven't been there. And if you haven't had a chance already, please follow me on Instagram at Grow Folds. We're growing our um, plant community there. But as you guys can see, we're walking in and we are greeted with some urban jungle plants right over here. Or, yeah, urban jungles or living trends. This one is um, a Dracaena warnakii, white jewel right over here and then we have a dracaena warnekii lemon lime right over here cool thing about these dracaenas is that they grow fairly well they get big and um it's one of those plants that doesn't really require a lot of care it can tolerate lower lights but you can see this is another fixture that this particular lowe's has for some of its um overstock so you can see right over here we have a really nice looking um Epipremno Arium Enjoy for $16.98 in this ceramic um, hanging basket right over here. This is by Live Trends. And then we have some um, trending tropicals right over here. We have got an Aglonuma Pink Siam for $19.84. This is by Costa Farms. And we have some more Aglonema right over here. This one actually is in a self-watering planter for $15.98. And then we have another um, Urban Jungle Syngonium here. These are for $13.98. Not 100% sure what this particular Syngonium is. It does look nice. I like that it's got this like peach um, tone to it. And then we also have a Sansevieria or a snake plant here for $13.98 by urban jungle so we've got a mixture of urban jungle trending tropicals self-watering planters like this one ponytail palm for $15.98 and then we have another urban jungle red marantha right over here for $13.98 that one's a nice looking one i do like the planters of um urban jungles it's just it won't wouldn't work for my aesthetic i prefer very simple modern planters versus having textures and whatnot on there this one is a calathea dotty for $19. 87 um, or 84 um, by Trending Tropicals. This is by Costa Farms right over here. This one is um, for $14.98. This is a nice looking philodendron micans. Love the velvety leaves of philodendron micans. It's always nice to see that. I have yet to see the philodendron micans in like a exotic angels hanging basket by Costa Farms. So guys in the comments or even in the live chat, let me know if you've seen a philodendron micans hanging basket. That'd be awesome. I would totally snag it even if I didn't have the space for it because philodendron micans are awesome. And you can see this Lowe's, they've already sold through a lot of their plants. We've got a Sansevieria right over here. Um, we've got some orchid bark. So in my last video, I mentioned how I needed to repot a bunch of uh, my plants that I got some philodendron, but the orchid bark was way up in the shelves. Um, this Lowe's must have listened to me because they have it right in front of me at the entrance. So I'm definitely going to grab a bag of that to mix in my soil mix. So you can see that there is another palette of um, plants right over here. We've got um, an Aglonema Green Papaya by Costa Farms Trending Tropicals. This is for $19.84. Um, I love the pink stems here. There's a, just a little bit of um, die off of some of the leaves, but nonetheless, it's still a healthy looking plant. You just got to get rid of some of those dead leaves. That happens when some plants are in transit and obviously in just big box stores. This one is another beautiful Aglonema right over here. It's an Anyanamie um, Aglonema. Love the pink color. It reminds me of a Aglonema pink valentine. Sometimes it's very challenging to do those plant IDs for Aglonema because they look so similar. And then we have a bromeliad right over here for $10.98. Nice looking one. It's still starting to bloom. Um, not a bad looking bromeliad. I saw some that had some pink um, foliage and that's something I would have um, picked up. A xanthosoma right over here. So this is um, an interesting plant by Costa Farms Trading Tropicals for 1984. Just because it reminds me of a caladium, it also reminds me of an alocasia, and it even gives me like syngonium vibes as well. So like very interesting uh, genus of plant for sure. And then for $30.98, we have a bonsai right over here. This one is actually a Ulmis pulva or a um, 
elm bonsai, Chinese elm bonsai. So that's really cool. And then we have some dramatic dehydrated spathophyllum or peace lilies right over here. These are both for $15.98 in the self-watering planter. The water reservoir must have ran out of water just because it's not a dead plant. Imagine just putting some water on that in like two to three hours, they don't, it'll perk up. But this is another um, bromeliad here for $13.98 by Costa Farms. This one's really cool just because I find these bromeliads with these bright colors as if somebody like took you know, a sp uh, spray paint and just spray painted it. And then we have some more urban jungle um, plants here. This one is for $22.98. This one's a larger planter. And this one is a Dracaena hurricane, a really cool looking um, Dracaena. I love how it kind of swirls up. It'd be interesting to see this um, as a mature, large plant. I'm sure it'd be like super cool to see something like tall and then just kind of like that giving that hurricane swirl and then we have another dracaena um warnecii lemon lime this is a very common um, plant to find at any big box store or even nurseries nonetheless it's a beautiful plant look at the of the color of this one and this one is also for $22.98 by urban jungle so we've gotten some pretty cool looking plants at this lowe's we have a shingle vine right over here or rafa de cool looking plant i wouldn't buy it just because it does require a plank for it to grow up in order for the leaves to remain somewhat at a decent size otherwise if it grows any further past the shing the the plank the leaves substantially um lessen in size and then this one right here is a croton petra beautiful looking one right here this is also by urban jungle and this one is for 22.98 in a nice um, planter as well um I like this croton. This one is got some really fiery leaves over here. The only thing about crotons, guys, is as they are marketed as a plant that you can grow indoors, but they do better outdoors in like light and um, indirect sun or even direct sun just because they love light. And this is really interesting. So this Dromanthe triosar, look at how beautiful this one is. Look at all of the, um, the cream variegation, the green variegation. It looks like literally somebody took some paint and painted the leaves awesome um plant i ended up getting one at target and this one's for 22.98 which is not bad but i got one at target um for 20 dollars and it looked a little bit more healthy you can see there's a little bit of leaf damage um and but what's cool about it is the top view was awesome but also the bottom view so i was a little bit weary about getting a stromanthe as they can be finicky as well they're just like calathea in that family realm but it's doing well for me so far and i think that the leaves are amazing and then we have some more like snake plant right there we got some majesty palms right over here we've got a large yucca um right in front of us right over here 35.98 the yucca um i haven't really seen anybody really growing yuccas but let me know if you do and then we also have a per bird of paradise right over here not sure what the blooms are but this is for 35.98 that's not a bad price for already large plant and we have some Dracaena marginatas right over here. So that's the thing about um, big box stores like Lowe's. Um, the best places to get large plants as well is to go to a big box store like Lowe's or even Home Depot. Um, these are really nice looking Dracaena. Look at these Dracaena Warnockii. We have the White Jewel and the Lemon Lime. So we're going to go and walk by um, to go to that greenhouse. But should I get that um, egg egg um you know couch that would be really cool maybe to add into my living room we'll see but we're gonna go walk by and see what kind of um plants they have in the nursery the only thing about it is i'm not 100 percent sure if they got a restock i feel like they do but um as soon as we walked in here it felt like i was outside the um i guess maybe the heating isn't on here but that's not really good for the plants because it does feel very cold in here as if i was standing outside but nonetheless let's take a look at the plants we have some orchids right over here these are looking beautiful i love the orchids um as always lowe's has some nice orchids um they have the best orchid selection definitely a lot of diversity they have like philanopsis vanda and, and other orchids available. And then obviously you cannot go to a big box store and not see some bromeliads. This one's really cool too. Like this is what I was talking about. And this one is for $44.98 by Costa Farm. So they have a assortment of bromeliads growing in that planter. And then we have some Dracaena uh, Masangiana right over here, the cane Dracaena. 
and this one is for $22.98. This um, that one's actually a nice looking one. Um, I'm not really into the cane one, but if you want some height, that's what um, that one is available for. And we have some more Dracaena marginata, some Bird of Paradise right over here. This is a large Bird of Paradise um, by Costa Farms. And this one is also for $35.98. That's not a bad price for a large Bird of Paradise. And we have an assorted amount of um, Majesty Palm right here. This one is a medium size. Well, actually, I would say it's a large size because, I mean, look at how tall it is. But on the um, on the right side of me, from this um, angle, you can see there's even larger ones right over here. And I'll just flash the price for you uh, um, over there. But we've got some Majesty Palms. Nice looking plants. Love it. And then what else do we have over here? We have a staghorn fern that looks really nice yep right here this one is for 15.98 it's in a smaller pot i kind of like that and i am in the lookout to get a staghorn fern just because i'd love to go put one on a wooden plank and then just hang it on one of my my walls maybe in my my bedroom or the living room we'll see but look at this i knew something was off cold damage do you see these plants that have just um, gotten cold damage and pretty much fizzled away um, yeah, it's just because it's in an environment where this greenhouse area wasn't warmed up and Texas got, you know, Texas or North Texas in the last couple of days had um, really cold weather. It was in the nine degrees, um, even as low as four degrees. And that's just not good for tropical plants. But you know what's interesting? This Hedra Helix is perfect. This gold um, baby ivy right over here. I ended up getting one of these. So I've been doing um, daily blogs to show you guys what that hedra helix looks like i love the yellow variegation and this is for 1984 this little hanging basket right here of um, english ivy this is a really nice full one definitely love the variegation of this if i'm able to grow a hedra helix um in the next month i might actually get a hanging basket like this just because i feel like these um ivy are just beautiful like i know i'm always gaslighting hedra helix and talking about how i can't grow them but i would tell you it is the one plant house plant that i have not been able to successfully grow i've had about 12 of them in the past um three years and you can see how sad this is more cold damage so this is the sad part about big box stores if they don't unload the plants or even keep it in this place where you know like this greenhouse looking situation here um where they keep it heated this is what happens to plants and it's just a waste because it definitely took a while to grow these beautiful house plants and you know it takes only a day or two for them to be destroyed like that but um this actual Lowe's has way more hanging baskets of like hedra helix so i'm going to be featuring that i'm actually surprised they have quite a bit of like english ivy right here this is actually gorgeous as well another large one and what's interesting is all of that cold damage tell me why the hedra helix did not melt or really have any cold damage i'm not sure if they are just plants that can tolerate a little bit low um lower temp conditions but that's quite interesting and then we have a ficus pomelia um curly fig right over here these are also by costa farms exotic angels for 1984 or 1987 something around that range so that's not a bad looking hanging basket i do like the texture and then we have some strawberry begonia but we can see there are more cold damaged plants look at the philodendron brazil that's really sad but i did find another beautiful um hedra helix this one is the mint colabri um hedra helix i think this one if i found a smaller version i would have picked this over the gold baby ivy because look at this um variegation now this variegation has like the cream variegation but you can see that it has that green splotching or i don't even know how to mention it variegation where it is definitely a stark green neon green variegation on top of like the silver variegation so this plant has several different shades of variegation i also love the leaf shape here i think if i successfully grow a hedra helix or english ivy i would look for the mint colabri he um hedra helix just because that's probably my best type of variegation that i would pick is just look at it. it has like silvers and then it has that stark green um variegation as well very pretty and then the stems also have that red on it so like there's a lot going on with the mint golabri hedra helix and that one is also for 1987 not a bad price for 1980 um 89 somewhere around there and then we have some aloe vera plants right over here 
Um, I know that some people start um, their house plan journey by just getting an aloe vera gifted to them. Those are for $12.98. And then we have a bunch of assorted grafted cactus or cacti right over here. Those are super cute. I like the pink um, cactus. That might actually work since I like pink plants. And we'll look at some more cold damaged plants right over here. This one is um, a, um, some type of cactus in a hanging basket and it's really sad just because all of them have been damaged. And I'm gonna take a look at this. I, I like the pink planter and this one is for $6.98 by Allen uh, and Roth. That's um, Lowe's um, like designer line for things. So I think that's interesting, but those cold damaged plants are not and it's actually quite sad. So. Um, we're just going to go take a look at some plants that aren't cold damaged. This one is an Epipremnum Arium Neon by Urban Jungle. I like Urban Jungle's um, planters and even um, hanging baskets just because they're very stylish. And then we have a ponytail palm right here for $13.98. I've never seen a juvenile pon ponytail palm, but this is what they look like. They are so cute. It looks like just a little bit of like overgrown grass, like a clump of it. And then we have more some Sansevieria here. And you can see this one is a little bit cold damage as well uh, for $13.98. And then we have a Croton right over here. That looks nice, Croton Petra. Um, it's interesting with Crotons because their um, coloration is really unpredictable. But the ones, especially the Croton Petra, if I give it more direct light, sometimes it can really variegate up. Sometimes it'll do like more red foliage or yellow foliage. So um, that's an interesting one. I don't have the Petra. I only have the gold dust in my collection. And then we have another Urban Jungle um, Schifflera. This is for $22.98. Um, that's a nice looking one, but if I'm going to get a Schifflera, I'd get the Amate. I like the leaf shape a little bit better. And then we have um, a nice Cordatum leaf or Philodendron um, heart leaf right over here. It is um, cold damage, unfortunately. And we have some more um, Majesty Palms right over there. This is another um, Live Trends um, hanging basket of Epipremnum Arium Neon. This is actually a nice looking neon um, pothos right over here. So they've got some plants that are, are nice looking and I feel like if these plants didn't have cold damage like this um, Dracaena Janet Craig Compacta, you can see the um, the edges of the leaves are a dark black. So that's like frost damage right there. Um, that's really unfortunate just because like I said again, these plants took a while to grow and it just took like a day or two to destroy a bunch of them with that. This is a Croton Batik. Um, this one is an interesting one as well because the Batik, unless this is like frost damage, has a darker foliage with like, um, you know, splotches of variegation. Here is a Syngonia White Butterfly. This is another one that's been frost damaged, but this one's for $7.90. Age of some of the lower leaves aren't looking great, but nonetheless, I do love Syngonia. Syngonia White Butterfly is super easy and it can start trailing if you just let it grow in a hanging basket. And then we're going to take a look at some more of these Croton Batiks. I would possibly pick up this Croton Batik at some point. This one's for $7.98. I would get the smaller version for like $5.49 or $5.48. These exotic angel ones right over here. I haven't seen this one. So this is the Pixie Dixie Hydra Helix um, or English Ivy. I haven't seen these Ivy. So I've noticed that this Lowe's location has some really nice Hydra Helix or English Ivy hanging baskets and different types of Ivy I have not seen featured as exotic angels. Very nice Pixie Dixie Hedra Helix. That's like a mouthful. And then we have a Fat Shadera here for $5.48. It looks like an Ivy or a Hedra Helix, but it is not. It is considered a Pia tree. I like the variegated version, but nonetheless, this um, the care tips for this one is similar to a Hedra Helix, although it's not as spider mite prone. You can see that this one is root bound and happy. Glad that it was not... Um, you know, frost damage or cold damage, but you can see this Croton banana right here definitely is either dehydrated or did not like all of that cold weather. It is quite cold in here. I feel like I am standing outdoors as I'm filming, filming this, so I can see why these plants didn't do well. But we have another hanging basket for $15.98, a Syngonium white butterfly. That one is absolutely gorgeous as well by um, Costa Farms. I really love the look of this one. And, you know, I haven't grown... Um, Syngonium in hanging baskets, it'd be interesting to do so. Um, so we will see what that looks like right over here. Um, 
I do have a Syngonian white butterfly. It is doing well. I'm actually getting ready to propagate it. So we will see if I can make some more Syngoniums. But again, I will say this is just quite disappointing that this Lowe's location has like cold damaged plants like in this Epipremna Arium marble queen right over here it's not looking that great but look at that variegation it's got a little bit more white versus like the cream tones of marble queen so it could be considered like a snow queen pothos and of course we find another hedra helix right over here this one is the gold baby hedra helix look at how beautiful the yellow variegation is on this um hedra helix so the thing about Hedra Helix, guys, is it does, um, it is very spider mite prone. So something as full as this could potentially be invaded by spider mites and then it'll get very like not so bushy and lose a lot of its foliage. So what I am doing now with my Hedra Helix is spraying it like twice a week, the top side and undersides with some neem oil to prevent any spider mites from coming around. And I'm putting it in an area that has a little bit more humidity. So it's near my um, kitchen sink in front of a bright um, east facing or yeah, east facing window. And here we have some more um, Ipripremnum arium golden pothos hanging baskets. Absolutely love this one. This is by Live Trends. Um, I just wish they had simple ba um, hanging baskets versus having that texture. Otherwise, I would be all over it. That would be amazing to, to get. So as you can see, this Lowe's definitely has some nice looking plants had they not had the cold damage, which is really unfortunate. Like with big box stores, um, it really just depends on the urgency around protecting the plants. Unfortunately, most of these plants, um, they become less of a priority. Like for instance, these beautiful um, H2O um, bowls. And then we have some of these beautiful plants right over here, live trends hanging basket. This one actually didn't get damaged. So that's nice. This is a philodendron cordonum. Nice Nice looking one right over here there are a lot of beautiful hanging baskets particularly at this Lowe's location so I really like that I wish I could find um, like a philodendron micans in a bigger hanging basket this one is a philodendron cordatum really nice looking one right over here um, I tend to like some of the greener foliage as well just look at the heart sheep the heart shaped leaves and this one is for 19 98 i believe by costa farms exotic angel so this is a nice hanging basket good to see that this one actually didn't get um frost damage or cold damage so that's something that i might consider getting in the future is something like this really i want to get the one that is the lemon lime philodendron cordatum or heteracium however whichever one you want to call it and then we have some more bonsai here we got a money tree there and we got another hedra helix guys this one is that gold baby hedra helix i swear there are a lot of hanging baskets for ivy here and it's so interesting that all of the cold weather kind of damaged the plants except this particular one right here so um very interesting to see that this one is actually protected so um i don't know maybe hedra helix likes the cold weather let me know in the comments or in the live chat if that is the case but we have another one right over here that i'm gonna pull over now i find this hedra helix quite interesting because it doesn't have that you know typical maple like leaf type um leaves for the shape this one has like a curling effect so it reminds me of like curling plants like the syngonium godzilla or the epipremnum arium um shangri-la or godzilla pothos they have that like um curling foliage to it so i don't know what that particular hedra helix is i definitely know it's not just like english ivy as they they put but this is a beautiful calathea lancifolia right over here this one is for $22.98 by Urban Jungle. So the thing about Urban Jungle is they do have some really nice looking plants. I would say they focus more on the styling because even they have top dressing like moss or something there. And then this is a beautiful Alocasia poly or African mask. You can see that there is a leaf unfurling. So this one is a happy Alocasia. Yeah, for $22.98. That's not bad as well. Um, this is actually a very um, healthy looking alocasia. It's just that with this particular one, I would be cautious just because of all the alocasias I've had. This one typically ends up getting spider mites. So um, this is going to be a no for me. I can just look at the pretty foliage of it for sure. So have you guys ever just gotten plants where you find them beautiful, but then at the same time, you know that the care is going to take a little bit more? I tend to steer away from that. Although I will say I ended up getting more um, alocasias added to my collection. This is a really nice looking 
green fern this one has more of a neon color so i think that that is beautiful as well this is for $22.98 by um, urban jungle i just wish urban jungle would have um more simple planters like i like some of the designs but it's just not going to work for me i just wish they had like a matte white or a matte gray or matte pink and then we have some more ficus bonsai right over here we're just going to pan over and take a look at some more of the plants we got some more epipremnum hanging baskets both the golden pothos we have some more um ginseng ficus right here i love the um the trunk of it it's really nice and thick this is an actual easy plant as well you just need to give it a lot of bright indirect light and then look i'm gonna pull another hedra helix this one is the mint Colabri hedra helix it looks amazing beautiful i can't stop looking at the variegation on it and what makes this a special type of hedra helix as you can see there's silver and cream variegation and then there's this green like neon green color as well so definitely an interesting hedra helix it's one that i would consider getting or maybe getting a small one and this is a really cool mistletoe hanging um, basket of cactus this one is by Costa Forum, so it is a trailing one it reminds me more of like a hoya linearis you know those like very thin um foliage right over here it looks like a ball of hair or just grass so that's really cool very cute and then we have another hedra helix here this one has more of that cream variegation um, a little bit serrated leaves as well um, it definitely looks a little bit more delicate than the other ones but nonetheless it's a beautiful um english ivy and that's the thing as much as i um hate the the fact that english ivy are challenging plants it's one of those things there if you love the plant um you will always try to grow it in your collection so i have a baby koi and hedra helix that's number 13 um english ivy in my home so we'll see with the new added precautions for pests if i can actually grow it um i'm doing that challenge for an entire month and hopefully we'll have you that guys that video at some point at the end of february so we'll take a look and then we're going to just walk over here i noticed that there are some clearance plans or plants that i would say that are screaming for rescue me um, we have some cyclamen right over here what i like about cyclamen is not necessarily the um the flowers it's um, more of just the patterns of the leaves i love the um, intricate patterns of that heart-shaped leaf the one in the red is actually beautiful as well very much um, prominent variegation and then we have some plants right over here that need to be rescued but honestly a lot of these plants look like they would take a little bit more work to rehabilitate so i don't think i'm going to pick up anything but i do want to just like pan out over here and just kind of take a look at some of these plants um right over here so we can see this one right there that's a nice looking um tomatophyllum i would totally get one of those i saw a variegated one and it looks beautiful and we're just going to keep walking over here so we talk about like Lowe's restocks and i've noticed that this particular palette has been sent to many Lowe's, but this one didn't make it in time inside because look at the cold damage this is so sad to see that um siam um aglonema siam red and then we have this um calathea i've never seen this calathea be this curly and damaged and stressed this is a calathea vitata these are all for 15.98 by costa farms and unfortunately they ended up you know getting some cold frost damage either the palette was left out or they were just kept into this like greenhouse where there wasn't any um heating because right now it's still very very much cold right here i would say it's in the 34 degrees and this is just really not good for the plants long term but you can see some plants are a little bit more tolerant than some other plants with the cold um but maybe i will come visit this lowe's at some point again in, a, in a, like a week or two to see if they get these plants restocked or they get rid of some of these frost damaged plants it's unfortunate just because there are so many beautiful plants to look at like this one right here is a nice epipremnal arium jade by urban jungle i love the macrame um hanging baskets that they have really cool and then this one right here is a hedra helix gold baby or english ivy um i have this one in my collection but i ended up getting one for 6.99 that was a little bit bigger this one's 7.98 for instance so it's a little bit more pricey and i got that at callaway's it's a local nursery store in dallas um definitely want to encourage anybody who hasn't seen my plant nursery stores in dallas i know most of y'all will watch the big box videos but definitely find those um tours we can see this one's a cold damage aglo that's unfortunate but i did want to show you this croton gold dust absolutely stunning variegation it's probably more yellow than i've ever seen in a croton 
I would totally buy this if I didn't have one already. And this one is also for $7.98, so it's a little bit more pricey. Nonetheless, it's a beautiful croton. Look at that yellow right over there. I know some people are not fans of crotons. I'm starting to love them. Um, so we'll see if I will grow more in my collection just because they do require a lot more light. Mine is doing well actually indoors. And then this is another croton gold dust. You can see that there is a stark difference in the coloration and variegation. So I would think that it's more light and you know, influenced. This one is a croton mame. This one's beautiful as well. But I feel like the variegation for crotons are more like light influence. So like if you give it more light, it may give you guys the more like colors and and whatnot and then we have another um hedra helix hanging basket here there's another gold baby hedra helix super cool this one is actually a smaller one right over here for 15.98 so if you wanted to start out small with a english ivy hanging basket this one would be the right hanging basket for you then we have some fatchadera or pia tree type plants their care is similar to hedra helix and we're just going to walk around here and see what else they have we have those you know aloe vera um we've got some of these majesty palms we always see but for the most part i think i'm gonna go ahead and end this portion of the video and give you guys that bonus feature i love that um dracaena hurricane though um but yeah so you can see that cold weather and just weather and timing at big box stores can really influence the quality of the plants so sometimes you just get lucky and sometimes you don't and you know today we were unlucky to find any plants that were like perfect condition but here is my next one this is a bonus feature so this is actually a local nursery in Rowlett, texas called Cummington's nursery it is a family-owned business that really features more outdoor um, plants like japanese maples but they do have a section for just indoor plants now granted this place is getting renovated so the presentation is not going to be on point it'll be a little bit more um, bare as they told me they're getting a large shipment of house plants so we'll take a look at what they have here all right, so it looks like they have quite a bit of um, Epipremnum arium right over here. This is a really cool looking um, assorted succulent for $4.99. I actually love it. Look at the sun stressing of that. And then we have some more succulents right over here. This is a little spider plant that's not looking too healthy. Still cute, but just needs a little bit of tender loving care. We have some fern right over here. Some watering cans. And we have some more plants right over here. But like I said, again, um, Covington's Nursery, at least the indoor portion, is going through a remodel. They are getting plants restocked. It is the middle of winter, so we are going to be seeing more bare selection of plants. Um, this one is a Trio um, Star Stromanthe for $24.99. I love the undersides of the leaves and in the, um, above also. So they've got different like viewing interests. You can look at it from the top, but definitely from the bottom as well. And then we have a domino peace lily. Absolutely love that um, for $19.99. You know, peace lilies are very easy or spathophyllum to grow just because they can um, tolerate lower light conditions. You can actually grow like a peace lily in a bathroom that doesn't get a lot of light. I've done it before and it's um, done well. And then we have a philodendron green galaxy. It's re really the wrong um, plant ID. This one is actually a Monstera Peru. I love the texture of the leaves and it looks like it's starting to trail. So you can actually put that up on a moss pole and the leaves would start to upsize. We have a big Norfolk pine right over here. We've got another peace lily right over here. And guys, check this out. For $19.99, this is a juvenile Monstera Deliciosa. I love juvenile for Monstera Deliciosa just because um, look at the leaf shape, nice, beautiful heart shape. We have another Stromanthe Triostar over here. And then we're going to look at this Staghorn Fern um, for $29.99. I do want to get a Staghorn Fern to mount up on like a wooden plank or something. I think that'd be really cool. Um, Staghorn Ferns, I heard, are actually easy care plants. So we will see. And then I have some more um, Sansevieria to look at right over here. This is a Sansevieria Sayuri or... Um, that one's actually a slower glowing Sansevieria. And then look at this fiddle fig tree or ficus lyrata. Look at how beautiful this is. Definitely would be great for a um, larger space. We have some euphorbia right over here. And it looks like Covington's has a bunch of cacti in this little section right here, just assorted cacti. Again, I don't know too much about cactus or like succulents, but nonetheless, there are they are available right over here. So I just wanted to pan out and show you guys that. 
And then this is a beautiful ficus audrey. I do have a ficus audrey in my collection. I ended up buying one that was like in a six inch planter for $5 at Walmart. And like three years later, it's even bigger than this ficus audrey. I do plan to cut it up just because it's not looking too great. And this one's actually $100. That's a little pricey for that to propagate it. You know, um, I want to like uh, encourage more branching. And then this is interesting. So this is a philodendron white princess. We've been seeing a lot at Walmart. This is $49. 99 definitely overpriced for what you can see um and the variegation isn't that great but you know the difference between a philodendron white princess and a philodendron white knight is if you see the stems you can see there are pink margins there versus the white so for those who are asking what the difference is for the philodendron white princess that's what it is um this one has better variegation but I would urge everybody that goes to Walmart to look for the Growers Bench um, Philodendron White Princess. It is for $24.48. You'll get a much better deal and sometimes you'll get multiple plants in there. So definitely check it out. And then we have a Philodendron Pink Princess right over here. Super expensive actually, $69.99 for this. And the variegation isn't really that great. No shade to Covington's, like I get it. Like maybe this is the stock plants that they were able to get, but you can go to any big box store and find a very better variegated philodendron pink princess. This one is for $24.99. This is a philodendron prince of orange. Again, you could probably find this philodendron prince of orange by Urban Jungle at like Lowe's for $22.48. So you'll save it a little bit and you'll also get a really cool stylish um, planter. But I did want to pan over here and just show you a couple more plants. Um, I have been going to Covington's Nursery for a couple years. So um, this is a surprise that they don't have nearly as many plants. I happen to be in the area. So I figured maybe I could shoot just a little bit to give you guys some more local da Dallas nurseries. I love the foxtail fern. I'm gonna do my research because that is one um, fern that I would add just because look at how it's got the tree form. And I find this interesting. They've got a bunch of little propagations or cuttings of um, spider plants and other plants here. That's really cool. I would love to grow a spider plant, guys, but they're difficult to keep their leaves perfect they end up getting brown brown leaves for me it's just i don't know if it's just a water quality but you can see there are several different kinds of cuttings here i love propagating plants i think i do too much propagation and that's why i've created a jungle at one point in my plant collection like i will literally um, propagate epiprenum arium pothos all day like maybe 20 40 cuttings at a time and then like i don't have space but Check this out guys, for $11.99, this Alocasia Sarion. I have never seen this type of Alocasia in person, but I love the narrow leaves and even the stems having that like Alocasia Sabrina um, on the stems, that pattern is really cool, but I love the fact that the leaves are very narrow and small and it just seems like a very small type of Alocasia. Um, very much like if you're looking for like very elongated clean lines this would be a great plant um, to get if I wasn't on a no buy plants during my big box tours or like just plant shopping tours I would definitely buy that and then we have some assorted um, grow lights here now I have a lot of grow, grow lights but I don't like the grow lights that are like purple and red I like the bright warm you know lights it just I don't know, I just like it better. It's just a better look for me. And then we have some ant plants here for $24.99. So I've never grown ant plants, but nonetheless, it looks cool. It reminds me of like a desert rose. And then we have another palm right over here for $29.99. That's pretty cool. Definitely like that a lot. And we have some more Monstera Peru's right over here. Um, so Covington's actually has some uncommon and rare plants. Some are priced better than others. Like I think the Philodendron princesses are definitely overpriced. And this is really cool. I have never seen African violets that were not in bloom, but guess what? You can buy this for $6.99. I probably should have bought one of these African violets just because, you know, you just have to be patient because they will definitely re-bloom. Um, I love the look and texture of the leaves of African violets. Now, if there was a variegated one, I would totally buy it today, but unfortunately, they don't have one, so I'm gonna refrain from buying African violets, but I do like the growth habit of it. I love the fact that it 
is circular it creates bigger leaves as they continue to spread and this is for $12.99 that's if it was actually blooming but since it's not you can get it for $6.99 so I love looking at the undersides of African violet I love the, um, the texture it's very fuzzy and thick um, the thing about African violets is they do need bright indirect light they hate to be watered um, like their leaves to be watered because they'll end up rotting so just FYI making sure that you keep the tops of their, their leaves dry but they also like to stay very moist so it is a little bit tricky now we have a bunch of um, plants right over here being bottom watered. this is a syngonium pink salmon so bottom watering is basically submerging the bottom of your plant and letting the water take up in the soil bottom watering is actually better for a lot of people just because then it prevents fungus nets because if the top layer of the soil is dry their their eggs can't hatch so some people like to bottom water i um, have systemic granules so that kind of prevents like gnats from actually you know hatching but that's one way to you know keep some of the pests away or at bay this is an interesting philodendron pariso verde um, those I'm trying to get out were a little bit harder to get and look at this philodendron El Choco Red. This was a philodendron that was costly way back then, a couple years back and now it's $24.99. That is not a bad price at all. And honestly, I would pick up this philodendron as well. Now with this philodendron El Choco Red, the leaves get big but I do think that it needs higher humidity levels so you just have to watch out for that. And then here is another one right here, absolutely beautiful. Love it a lot, love the velvet texture, love the veining of the leaves. I just love everything about it. So if you guys have grown philodendron El Choco Red, let me know in the comments or in the live chat premieres. I would definitely love to hear what your experience is. And then we have some more Syngoniums right over here. Love me some Syngoniums. Um, this one is really interesting. So this is an Epipremnum gigantium variegated look at the variegated leaves here so this is not an epipremnum arium and this isn't an epipremnum panatum so it's a different type of epipremnum but nonetheless it's really cool and i love the variegation this is being bottom watered and these are for 34.99 like it a lot i might actually eventually get that because i love variegated um, epipremnum and they are typically an easy to care for plant and that's the thing we are all about easy to care for a plant. And then this is another Alocasia sarian right here. I love the veins of the leaves and just how narrow it is. And then we have right over here some really cool philodendron um, burly marks variegated. Love the um, philodendron burly marks variegated, but it always like reverts on me, so I don't have it anymore. Um, it's kind of discouraging actually. And then we have another Ficus elastica tiniki gorgeous rubber tree and then i wonder why this philodendron red heart here is for 34.99 why it's an expensive philodendron like i remember seeing this being a way more like in the 80s or even three digits like three to four years ago i just never knew the the hype and then we have a rubra euphorbia here very beautiful plant i am drawn to like the magenta pink foliage and then we have another hoya here for all you hoya lovers this one is for 9.99 this is the hoya matilde very beautiful hoya i'm actually afraid about buying more hoyas just because i will get addicted to hoyas um i haven't gotten into them nearly as much i do have two hanging baskets of hoya we have a hoya carnosa crimson princess so we'll see but you can see that there are several plants here um i thought I could actually produce many videos and then I just realized that I was always playing catch up so I do apologize for not being able to get a noontime premiere and an evening time premiere. I am off tomorrow and I'll be able to schedule a lot of time to film early in, you know, film early in the morning but it does take time to film, travel, um, edit the videos, put the subtitles because I feel like you guys appreciate the subtitles and then just edit in general but i will do my very best to get you guys content because i even as a plant lover want to provide daily content for you um so yeah so this is a string of hearts this was one of those it plants that everybody was into especially the variegated string of hearts for me it's actually a little bit tough for me and it gets bald so like i'm not really about the string of hearts even the variegated version and then we have some more hoya right over here actually i like this hoya it looks a little dehydrated this is the hoya chelsea um, for $12.99 for a four and inch um, pot of Hoya Chelsea. You can tell when Hoyas need to be watered or they're dehydrated just because their leaves are very like thin. 
Typically when it is, um, you know, watered well, the leaves feel more waxy, so that one was a little thin, but I do love the Hoya Chelsea. It's one of the Hoyas I absolutely love just because of the leaf shape and the bold um, green color. Um, we'll go walk over here. So as you guys can see, this Cumin Tints has some like, you know, neon pothos that's beautiful next to a jade pothos. We have a philodendron Columbia species beautiful um, plant here I love the silver and then I just love the texture of the leaves it's gorgeous and then we have a syngonia um, pink salmon that's a nice looking one in the planter I already have a pink salmon and then we have some more cr 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 Christmas cactus there you go Christmas cactus but I will pan over here so right now do not judge the Covington's nursery typically they are um, um, really stock well with plants it just happens to be the winter and apparently they are doing a remodel so um we do have some air plants right here i haven't gotten air plants but i've always liked this particular air plant here it looks so cool it looks like just like an artificial plant but it is a living plant very cool do you guys grow like air plants let me know what you think how the care tips are i would li literally love to learn from all of you guys and that's the thing about making plant um, videos i've been able to connect with so many cool people so i really appreciate that here are some more philodendron this one is a philodendron columbia species again for 16.99 love this philodendron it looks very lush very healthy love the leaf color really good price actually and um I just think it's such a beautiful philodendron. It reminds me of like a philodendron mycan. It's just the texture of the leaves. Now, if I was not on a no buy during plant shopping tour video filming, I would have bought that as well as that Alocasia sarion. This is a philodendron paradiso verde for $12.99. Um, this isn't a bad starter plant. I would be curious to see what the variegation would look like. The thing about philodendron paradiso verde is it definitely is influenced by like the temperature so the hotter it is the better variegation it potentially could get and we have another alocasia sarion like i am so tempted to get that because it's only 11.99 we have another philodendron party so verde for 12.99 and i remember this philodendron like two to three years ago was quite pricey so now you can see that it is more readily available we have a ponytail palm right there and we have some hoyo um Wai trio color that's a beautiful um, Hoya right over here for $12.99, which is often mistaken for the Hoya Quintiana. They're very similar. And then we have a Philodendron Gloriosum right over here for $14.99. Not a bad looking Philodendron. I would pick the Philodendron Columbia species over that one though. And then we have another Philodendron um, Paraiso Verde. So that's really cool. I would definitely look for one of these. I definitely want to add that to my collection. I just am in on no like no buy plant buy right now. And then here's some more Juvenile Monstera Deliciosa for $19.99. I wish there was a plant that had this type of leaf shape that would grow in this like way without being a trailing plant. Like I really wish that some Monsteras would just not bend straight and just stay that size. Beautiful looking leaves. I love the heart shape. It's very pronounced. And then we have another um, Pariso Verde Philodendron right over here. They've got quite a bit of Philodendron, actually. Um, I would be curious to see what other selections that Covington will have when spring rolls around and they get fully restocked with plants. Um, I will definitely come back and film and show you some better plants um, in the future. So that's the thing. I want to just showcase not only big box store plants but plants uh, nurseries all over the dallas fort worth um, area just because i feel like we have quite a bit of like plant nurseries to select from and so we'll just see what that all looks like for for everybody but as you can see we have um, another sansevieria sayuri right over here we've got another philodendron red heart i actually do like the shape of it that's really cool um, and the fact that it's in a yellow planter just makes it, you know, pop out even more. Um, we have a really cool Epipremnum Arium Neon Pothos in a Kokodama. This is a Kokodama, which is basically like a Japanese form of displaying plants um, in a moss bowl. Like these poinsettia Kokodama are super cool. Definitely would get one of these. Um, not Maybe not the poinsettias, but like a neon pothos or like an epipremnum arium, something easy to grow. 
um like look at this right over here these african violets are super cool as well like i would even do that um these all of these kokedama are for $24.99 that's not a bad price considering it's already like a custom designed um plant and these would be cool to hang around like this is really cool that philodendron over there i would actually buy the philodendron um columbia species kokedama and then this is a purple sage kokedama that's really nice as well i love the lavender colors on the stems and then the syngonium pink salmon kokedama right over here for $24.99 if they have more kokedama available, I would definitely come back to Covington's and consider getting it. Like obviously I could probably make my own kokedama, but why go through the trouble when you can get like a really cool looking plant like this and just buy it. So sometimes it's about like um, doing DIYs, but sometimes you just want that instant gratification. And if I was on a not, um, if I was buying plants today, I would definitely buy a kokedama. That's a really cool way to like display plants. And that's the thing i definitely want to do a house plant um, tour but i need to make sure that my space is ready for youtube um, the youtube plant community i don't want you guys to get all judgy on me um, at the same time i don't want to present like a bunch of cluttered plants so we'll see it'll it'll be a while so please be patient but i will definitely show you guys my plant collection it'll just be a minute okay um, we do have this um, purple sage kokedama. I just wanted you guys to see that again. Does anybody here grow kokedama? If so, let me know in the comments what your experiences are. Like look at that one right over here or even on the live chat. And that's the thing. The live chats have been so much fun. I really encourage anybody who's gotten this far into the video to make sure that during my premieres, you guys participate in the live chats. I think that that's what makes our community special. We're growing our community of plant foldies at Grow Folds. Would love that. Um, it's just fun. I, I, I definitely will answer as many questions as possible. Um, and I think that just makes these videos even more unique to look forward to is to like be able to interact with other plant lovers like myself. But as you can see, I'm just panning around showing you guys Covington's. I wish there were more plants, but you know, we're, we're just getting back from very cold temperatures out in Texas. So it's just nice that they're actually open. And I'm just going to pan out a little bit more to show you what other plants they have available right over here. It looks like we've got some more random plants, just different varieties right here. We've got a very large ZZ plant. That's beautiful. I'm looking for a variegated ZZ. I found one at Ruballs, but it was like over $100. I think it was like $169, so I'm not going to sp um, spend that just yet for a ZZ plant. And then we have some more hanging baskets. I love the display of hanging baskets. And we also have some philodendron lemon lime right over here. Um, very beautiful philodendron. It's growing up a pole. These leaves do end up upsizing as it grows up upon the pole and the aerial roots like attach to the moss pole. So that's super cool. And then we have some more hanging baskets right over here. Um, we've got this. I've never seen a full hanging basket in Manjula pothos. It's been quite a while. Um, typically, you could get lucky and find an uh, exotic angels hanging basket by Costa Farms, but it's very uncommon. And we have some more Dracaena right over here. Um, we've got a Monstera Peru, a Philodendron Hope. That's really cool as well. I do like this. This is a very easy to find plant that you will even see um, just anywhere you go. And then we also have a spider plant here, but this Manjula Pothos or Epiprema Aria Manjula is a little bit too pricey. $99 for a hanging basket. You could probably find that at Lowe's if you get lucky for like $19.98. So definitely would refrain from that. That's a Neon Pothos right over there and we have a dracaenas right over here easy to care for plants here is a really cool um, fern for $12.99 i don't really have any fern in my collection but that's something to, like i might visit there's just so many plants i want to add to my collection but you know again it's just about the space lighting conditions and just the time i would have the fact that i'm doing youtube videos twice a day every day is taking up a lot of my time I do want to show you guys this aglonema so these are huge aglonema so this is a typical aglonema maria but i've never seen one this bushy and large and we have another aglonema silver bay um, i definitely want to feature more aglonema for y'all i hope that with you guys watching my my videos you've become interested in aglonema because i do feel like aglonema are a very underrated plant and we need to have more people collecting them they're just gorgeous and they're very easy to grow plants you just don't need to overwater them but 
that's basically it of my little Covington's nursery indoor tour. Um, there wasn't quite a bit of plants, but the, there were some nice gems over there. Very excited to show you this nursery again and actually go through all the greenhouses. We've got flowers, outdoor plants, the Japanese maple are to die for, and obviously the indoor section again once they get that remodeled. This one again is in Rowlett, Texas, so if you get a chance, definitely check out um, Covington's. And I will be ending this video soon. Please make sure you follow me on Instagram at Growfold. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.